Today's Patreon shout out is for Ye Old Knight. Sheldred the Apocalypse versus Stanger Echo Warrior. And yeah, two lander can dart ritual into more lands off the sign in blood we will keep. So I'll play out the tap land on turn one and pass. Might be able to go for both sign in blood and malicious affliction in one turn off the dart ritual. Well, maybe not. That is a mana vault. Not going to get rid of a mana dork or anything. A grey merchant of Asphodel from our opponent. So let's see if we can get into a two mana spell that we can make use of dart ritual with. Signing blood onto ourselves. And yeah, that's unlucky. Got into another land at least, but did waste the dart ritual there. Just got off a horrendous game with braids, so my brain's kind of switched off a bit. I need to switch back on for this new game. You will see that game eventually, because it was an interesting one. <laughs> a chilled lotus, really getting into all the fast mana. And that is a combat celebrant. And getting Stang into play as well, so we just wipe them out with a Toxic Deluge here next turn, I think. Draw into Faith of the Devoted. Drop a land Toxic Deluge. And now they've wasted two pieces of fast mana and their commander costs six. So hopefully they're going to be quite a ways away from getting their commander down. A Birds of Paradise. Uh, that is a uh, Lizard Blades. They've got two cards in hand. They feed the Swarm. Uh, okay, so do we go for the extra planar lens here? Or the Malicious Affliction? Let's go for the Malicious Affliction onto their mana. Stomping Ground into play. They can untap their mana vault next turn if they want to. Swing it in at us for two damage with the Blades. Our turn 5, still not getting into a land unfortunately, so it's going to have to be extra planar lens here I think. I'll actually go for Temple Bell. Try and get into a land here, we'll draw a card. Alright, and do manage to make it into a land, that's good. Because I'm thinking they might want to tap out into the Mana Vault here. And they are doing, really want to get that Stang out again. Luckily we've got Feed the Swarm, ready to blow it up again. Shatter Skull the Hammer Pass comes in tapped, they've got three cards in hand. Okay, and a myriad landscape for us, so... We go extra play in our lens, we'll have two mana available. That could be our play next turn, we could go... Maybe we get into a swamp. So play the myriad landscape this turn, maybe we get into a swamp next turn, so we can go extra play in our lens, feed the swarm, and crack the myriad landscape. So that means we play our commander this turn, and then we'll draw a card at the end of our opponent's turn, don't want to give them too many options. They lose two life during the draw step. Straight into the Stang Echo Warrior. And that gets equipped up. A double striker. They go through to the end step. Let's draw a card. We'll shock our opponent. We gain two life of course. Drew into Sensei's Divining Top. Alright excellent. So that gets us into a swamp. So we play the swamp. Play extra planar lens. Get rid of a tap land. Looking pretty good at this point. And we can pay two mana into Feed the Swarm, blow up their Stang. Then we also... Yeah, actually, no reason for us not to do the Myriad Landscape at the end of their turn. Uh, we will pile on the damage. Let's swing in with our 4-5 Death Touch. Untapping the Mana Vault once again, because they're desperate to get their commander in play. Losing two life to the Sheldred during the draw step again. They've got six cards in hand, playing a land. And then holding back with the Lizard Blades. And now tapping down. Okay, they tap down the Mana Vault, so deciding on Pattern of Rebirth onto this thing. Uh, we can't blow that up even if we want to. Gonna have to be careful trying to get past that though. So now we can get two lands out first with the Myriad Landscape. Puts us up by four mana as long as the extra planar lens stays in play. And then activate the Temple Bell. We gain two, our opponent loses two, draw into a land again. Alright, and getting to Lich's Mastery, so you can't lose the game. Whenever you gain life, draw that many. Whenever you lose life, exile a permanent you control. And when this leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. So let's go for Play and Spin, the Sensei's Divining Top. Okay, and that is a Dark Steel Plate. Dark Steel Inga and a land, so uh, get rid of the Arcane Signet, the uh, land, and then Dark Steel Plate can go on top. Then it is Horn of Greed. We will play the Lich's Mastery. Then play the land. That will draw us a card from the Horn of Greed. We gain two life, which means we draw that many cards to the Lich's Mastery. 
and then it, whenever we gain life we draw, whenever we draw we gain life and this goes infinite. So we can just draw a whole heap of cards here and we're going to have to blow up our own Shieldred in order to get out of this. We'll just draw a heap of cards though. Not worthy that if we had Psychosis Crawler in play then we would be uh, going infinite on our opponent here and dealing a whole bunch of damage to them. Okay, we've got a decent sum of cards in hand here. I unfortunately can't get the Thought Vessel out because we are going to have to go for the Defile onto our commander in order to stop this loop. So go for the minus six, minus six onto our commander. I think I've got Reanimate in the deck actually. Suppose we could have gone for the Reanimate there. Uh, anyway, Sheldred goes back into the command zone. We're at 72 life now. And we've got a bunch of Sheldreds on the stack as well, so we're going to keep drawing cards. So there we go, 108 life, 3 cards in the graveyard. Go for the Mana Crypt, play ourselves a Thought Vessel. Actually use the Black Mana by accident to get the Soul Ring out there. Um, we'll just get as much mana out as possible. Play the Arcane Signet. Play the Mind Stone. And then can play... Don't think it really matters if we get the map into play when we've only got three cards in the deck. But we'll get that out anyway. Now another enchantment going on there, that is Gaia's Embrace. So going to be dealt a whole bunch of damage here. I mean we've got... How many cards do we have in hand? 70 cards in hand, so not really worried about that. We'll just exile stuff from the bin. Then lose four life again to the double strike. So it's really the point where our opponent has to uh, try and get rid of the Lich's Mastery from us. Uh, we will drop the Cabal Coffers. We've only got one card left in the deck. Can't lose the game, don't forget. Uh, drew into Dorothy Voidwalker and the Jet Medallion. So we'll get the Jet Medallion down. We want to play Bubbling Muck from the Arcane Signet. Bubbling Muck is going to double up our Swamps. Or actually they'll make triple black now, thanks to the Mana Doubler we already have in play. So play out the Sheldred again. Might as well get Crick into play as well, since how we have all this life to pay. So we lose life there, we have to exile some stuff from hand, we've got a surplus of lands. Get rid of the Expedition map and uh, get rid of the Horn of Greed as well. Actually maybe should have kept that in play for our opponent. We'll get the Crypt Ghast into play as well. Get as many of the Draw Pain effects into play as possible, a Fate Unraveler. And I am going to pay the Extort on the Crypt Ghast. The loop ended there because... The loop ended between Sheldred and Lich's Mastery there because we don't have any more cards to draw. Now we need to get Veto into play actually. So play the Veto. Whenever we gain life each opponent loses that much life. That's going to matter with the Extort. Pay for the Saison. I've used a bit of uh, Phyrexian Mana to do that as well. So then on the Extort we point Veto at our opponent. And then we lost a couple of life to the Phyrexian things, so get rid of some swamps. Play out the Obnixilis as well. Use Phyrexian mana to do it. Pain to the Extort again. Veto going to tick them down. And then we'll get out the Underworld Dreams as well. I think we've pretty much got them here with the wheel that I've got in hand. I just want to make absolutely sure here. So paying a bunch of Phyrexian mana into that, thanks to Crick. Alright, so we've got a bunch of draw pain effects now. Um... Just in case, I'm going to get down the Lightning Greaves, just in case we need to swing in and deal some final points of damage. And then we go for the Dark Deal. Our opponent's going to discard and draw a bunch. And seeing as how we're going to discard our hand anyway, I will pay into the Extort on that. Constantly exiling stuff from my hand, thanks to Lich's Mastery. Pay into the Extort. So our opponent's down to 11 here. We're at 89. And we might crash the client here. Props to my opponent for playing this out. So our opponent draws four cards and we get a bunch of triggers on the stack. Fate Unraveler deals four to them. Obnixilis deals four to them. Underworld Dreams will deal four to them as well and Sheldred will deal eight. So yeah, massive thank you to my opponent for playing that out. Because we probably could have got them much sooner than that. But I just wanted to make doubly sure this is the first time I've actually played the deck. First time I've ever played with Lich's Mastery as well, so wanted to get a Lich's Mastery win on the channel for a long time, and Shieldred the Apocalypse is the one that allows us to do it apparently. If you enjoyed this and want to see it played in multiplayer, then be sure to let me know. I haven't had a chance to play it in multiplayer yet, there's so many commanders come out from Dominaria United. 
but I am looking to play this in multiplayer if you're at all interested, so let me know in the comments section. Massive thank you to the patrons. Please consider donating via Patreon with the link in the description below if you love these videos. They do take a lot of time and effort to make, so any contribution won't go unnoticed. I'm Travel Kai. Thank you for watching.